Democrats vice presidential nominee Governor Tim Walz visited Sacramento for a fundraiser at Governor Newsom's home this afternoon. It's part of a West Coast fundraising swing that kicked off Sunday. ABC 7 News politics reporter Monica Madden joins us for more insight on this. Now, what's interesting here, uh, Monica, normally we'd expect to see White House hopefuls only in swing states at this point in the campaign. You're absolutely right, Dan. Although it's pretty expected for political hopefuls, especially Democrats, to come to California to court the state's wealthy donor base. Typically at this point in the game, it is swing state central. But then again, this has not been a typical election cycle. VP hopeful Tim Walls swinging through Sacramento on Tuesday. The Minnesota governor meeting with state and local leaders ahead of an afternoon fundraiser with Governor Gavin Newsom. Talk about the significance of Governor Walls visiting California today. The fact that they're fundraising and the Trump campaign as well to a degree, I think really speaks to how close this race is. National polling averages show it will be another nail biter. Harris barely leading Trump by two points and Trump within the margin of error. Analysts say it's why we're seeing different campaign approaches in the home stretch. A lot of this race is being fought on the airwaves with advertisements, which cost money. And so I think they're coming to a place like California. Two assassination attempts and death threats reshaping Trump's campaign style, with the former president holding fewer rallies this cycle. What's the first things you're going to do? But appearing frequently on TV and podcasts like The Ramsey Show. Inflation, you're right. And Harris, who has been criticized for not doing enough interviews, now on a media blitz. Lives are literally at stake right now. Airwave appearances also ratcheting up with campaign attack ads. Donald Trump is too big a risk for America. I'm Kamala Harris and I approve this message. Under Kamala, prices have already soared. Now she'd make it worse. President Trump will cut taxes again. National ads come with a high sticker price. I think the last numbers I saw, I think the Trump uh, campaign spent roughly about $294 million on advertisements, and the Harris-Walls campaign almost doubled that. They started the campaign very late, so they're always going to be doing things that are non-traditional due to the, the truncated timeline. Are advertisements going to move the needle? Even how hyper-polarized we are, uh, for the majority of Americans, advertising really doesn't seem to move folks one direction or another. Whether the spending makes a difference remains to be seen. And former President Trump will hold a rare rally in California this Saturday in Coachella Valley. Dan Ama.